Hi guys, this is David from RazorSharpUnlimited.com down in Florida. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble the Boker Kalashnikov to make it an automatic knife. In one of the segments we showed you how to disassemble the knife and in another segment we showed you how to drill the pocket hole out to accept the spring. This is the coil spring that we use. This is a 42 thousandths wire diameter and it's a heavy, extra heavy duty spring gives you a real good snap and everything. That's where the spring is going to go. That's what we drilled out to show you where the spring goes. Okay. One important thing after you drill this pocket hole out, when you get a spring, I showed you that there was a hole in the blade, that's where that spring goes. Okay. You have to be sure that the tip of that is not sticking out really deep to cut the side of the scale. It'll start scratching a hole in here. So you have to be careful that this is just about flush with the face of the blade. And you can just take a file or a Dremel tool or a belt sander and just knock that off. But that's important. Some knives that you'll see will have this pocket already drilled out that will accept that. So basically here's how we assemble this. We've got the pocket hole drilled out. <clears throat> the spring assembly goes in first, second. Take your knife blade and the tang that's on the blade goes into that hole. And right now I missed the spring hole. Trying to get this in here. There we go. And what I always do is I work and put pressure on the scale and the knife blade, as you can see. I let a little pressure off. The spring's going to wrap that knife. So I always put pressure on it when I'm assembling. If you notice, the stop pin is not in here. The spring and button's not in here. It's hard to put the stop, the firing button in with the stop pin in. So that's the last thing that goes in. And if you notice, there's a little notch right here that accommodates the spring and the button. And all we're going to do is drop that spring in there like so. And then we're going to take the button and it's going to go into the knife. And you find the, there's a little sweet spot that everything assembles perfectly. I take the extra washer and just put it on there and then I'll put the stop pin in. Be sure that's in. And then I'll take the other handle scale and I will just set it on here and I will wiggle and move this button until it's centered, until it just pops through the handle scale like that. Be sure your, your spacers and everything are, are seated into the handle scale as they are here. And be sure that you hold it tightly and push the button so it doesn't bind when you go back assembling it. And then we'll just pop the screws in. And I'm just going to put the pivot screw in just to show you the final product after it's been done. Now you can't you can't uh, bind the pivot screw real tight like you would to get the play out of a normal knife just for the fact that it needs some play in there for the knife to operate around the spring but this is this is a knife after it's all completed as you can see it's working fine um, these are very nice knives well well have a great price point and uh, they really are a nice, a nice knife for an everyday carry. Um, you can come to our store, RazorSharpUnlimited.com. We sell these. This is the new desert uh, color that we carry, and uh, we have other models. They have Tonto minis. Uh, so come down and see us. You can follow us on Facebook, like us on Facebook, watch some of the new videos we're coming out with. We have new products coming out this week, and. Uh, We'll show you some other cool stuff. Till next time, guys, stay sharp.